and he was just going around beating kids up. And he would just do that, send them to the hospital, and say they hit their head, and they were drunk. And then he would send them to the hospital, they would send them out the next night. But he would just do it to get his rocks off, you know what I mean? Like, he was going around doing that for months, especially in between, uh, what's called? And this is a cop that was beating people up. Oh, yeah, just for fun. Remember the cop that told you you should be put in a wood shredder? He he was sitting in a trash can, and he was holding a a sign that said, white trash. I don't even think he was holding a sign, actually. Yeah, it was. But, no, you went into the trash can because I wanted to go look for snipes. Yeah, so I, yeah, okay, so we You did it, he comes up, and he's like, And we're like, guess what I am? Get out the trash can. He's like, oh, yeah, what did he say? He said, um... He's like, yeah. He's like, you know, I've been, I've been trying to get funding for a, a wood shredder. He didn't even call it a wood chipper. He said, a wood yeah. shredder for you people. And I'm like, dude, that, that seems a little extreme. He's like, yeah, it's a real disappointment, isn't it? And I'm like, okay, well, like, I will get out. I'm sorry. Like, it's Halloween. I'm making people laugh. My dad had bone cancer, so he doesn't really do anything. He's just kind of like, he's like the homemaker. Yeah. And my mom, she works at a high school as a secretary I like the you. gym teacher. They're, we're very poor. <laughs> we were, my mother loves me. It's just the, the family dynamic is very dysfunctional. So when I'm there, it's bad. When I'm when I'm away and I come back and visit for like a week, oh, it's fantastic. But if I stay for more than like five days, all hell will break. Brothers are on meth, and I just don't want to be around it. Hey, so. at least you're one brother. What's it called? Buffalo now. Yeah, he works at the mall now. I, I think that's funny. Like, imagine Kyle working at a mall. He sells, he sells, like, leather gloves and things at a kiosk. Yeah, I ever got arrested for was my buddy was eating fried chicken out of the dumpster, and I didn't have a headlight on my bike. I was supposed to be in there for two days, turned into 18, just because of the fact I was trying to keep my plugs stretched, and uh, I had a wadded up... Uh, like, yeah, on a paper, a cardboard from a pop tarts box, and the uh, warden walks by me on my way to court. He's like, "Oh, you just earned yourself another 15 days." How long have you been married? Uh, what was that? July. Six months now. We just did the math the other day, around six months. We've known each other for over, like over a year, yeah, like two years or something now. But yeah, like. What's your dog's name? That's, That's Butterbean. I found her in a backpack in Nashville. January. Found her in a backpack. Where was yeah. the backpack? It was a, so I got off a Greyhound bus and there were these two older um, this older couple that were homeless and they were sitting at a bus stop and she was in a backpack and I saw her little face pop out and she was tiny. She was probably about this big, like half the size of my shoe. I was like, oh my god, can I pet her? Like she's so cute, it's a little puppy. And they're like, do do you want her? I'm like, Luka. I'm like, oh, I don't Luka. know, like Chihuahua. That's a tiny dog. You know, like the stereotype Lux. with with tiny dogs. They they're yippy they, and annoying. You know when you see get the rid pictures. of this right now, just because that's a good one. What? The open container right there from the home homes. Yeah. Oh yeah, get rid of that. That's here, not here, here, mine take at all. This. Look, all you are is a number right there. And the best part is, people don't realize, like, oh, my taxes go to the prison system to go pay for this guy to be a car. No, they don't. No, they the don't. The they top. do not. Oh, shit. That was close. My brakes are on. It's just, yeah, it's yeah. a shitty wheelchair. Well, no, it's not that way. It's like, there's always a bunch of corporations. Starbucks makes money off it. It's Bob Barker. Bob Barker Enterprise. It's the same thing. Realize when you go to jail, like, people think, oh, well, we're paying for them. No, you're not. They're doing things like the whole, like, go to labor, and, like, corporations are paying for you to be in jail. And that's nothing compared to what they're getting paid for you being in jail. <laughs> like, they're making bank of it, like, for real, because you have to have a cop, you have to have a blanket, you have to have three meals a day. Like, th- that's three different industries. You have the textile industry, you have, like, just basically, like, all that stuff where you're like clean, like soap and toothpaste and stuff like that. And most of that comes from China nowadays. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, how are you? Oh, thank you. Peace and love, God bless you. Thank you, God bless you too, man. Thank, thank you. you. My friend, yeah. Jesus, Lord, thank God bless you. Thank you. Oh, yes, you I know. know. I know. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus, Lord, God bless you, my friend. Our biggest budget is for the military. How does that work? 
And that's just what they say. I know in Florida, in the state of Florida, if you hold a piece of cardboard, you you probably will go to jail. Yeah, you can't fly a sign. You're not supposed to. That's why I fly, uh, like, I'm not super political or nothing, but I fly fuck Trump because it's a political statement. And you cannot go to jail for a political statement. So, I just go, hey, 